Bell is hooked up to the beast and we're ready to put her away for the winter. Looks like a great fall day, but it's actually about 32 degrees and it's only gonna get colder. So she's going off to storage. So stay tuned and I'll show you how we'll put her away for the winter. I'm Tony. And I'm Tina. And, and we're, we're TNT RV. Okay. So now it's time to take care of the solar. I'm going to go up top with my black plastic bag and I'll show you what we'll do. So I covered the solar panel with a black plastic trash bag. We're indoors. I don't suspect that we're going to get much uh, charging from the solar. This MC4 connector here is really covered with um, roof sealant and I'm not going to dig that out and unplug this. I'm gonna go down and just be real careful with disconnecting the, the battery uh, connections. So I'll bring you down and we'll do that next. All right, so we're gonna disconnect the batteries and always disconnect the negative terminal first. And the reason for that, in this particular situation, it's not so bad because we're not near metal. But if you were near metal and you were to disconnect the positive side first, and you're grounded and you touch up against metal, you're gonna create a spark and that's not fun. So always disconnect the negative cable first. So we'll do all our negatives. And then I'll put these back on here. And then disconnect this one here. I'll just good there so then now what I'm going to do is disconnect our positive This, I am gonna double check here. This is our solar panel. This is our solar positive. So being that I didn't disconnect up top, there's a possibility that this has got power coming to it. So what we'll do is we'll take black electrical tape and I'll just cover this up so we don't have any problems with if it touches ground or what have you. And we should be good. So, <clears throat> just do that. just to be safe and if I had a multimeter we could test it and see if there's power coming out of there but I don't with me so we'll just throw some electrical tape on there to protect it and we should be fine so that's how I'm gonna do that we'll actually just let that sit outside the box 
So now the batteries are ready to just pull right out of there. So that's that. And that battery box will definitely, I might remove that, take it home with us. And I'm gonna clean that up because it's not gonna get any better. Just sitting there. Okay. Okay. So that's the battery. <laughs> And that's how easy that comes off. So we'll clean this up real well and maybe I'll try to find some stainless screws to hold that together so they don't rust. So, you should be in good shape. Okay. All right, so now what I do, and this is not something that you really need to do, is being that this is going to be sitting in the same spot for five months, I'm going to actually lift the, the uh, wheels and tires off the ground. We're not going to get any flat spots then. And it's just going to be a, a better situation. So. myself uh, a case of surplus glue boards uh, for mice and they are very very sticky so I'm gonna place these all around the wheels and tires and Tina's gonna hand them to me so I'm gonna crawl underneath and make a nice little perimeter <laughs> Initially with our cayenne pepper to stay away. If they persist, they are gonna get stuck in glue boards. around 
the wheels. With the cayenne pepper to help with the mice. We'll see if it works. Oh, sure. <laughs> and she's all tucked away from.